All right, it's official. We are recording. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Young Entrepreneur Zoom. I'm so excited to, uh, to have the young crowd that's on here. I get to associate myself with the young crowd tonight. And so I, I'm excited about hosting this meeting. Tonight, you guys are going to hear from an absolute rock star, a stallion, a man in his own right to earn the right to share some thoughts with us. And I'm excited to, uh, to, to turn the time over to him here in just a second. But before I do that, I want to introduce myself and tell you a little bit about how this all came together. Uh, my name's Trent Lindstrom. I've been a part of, uh, as, as an entrepreneur, I've been a business owner now for, I was just doing my timeline. I started my very first business at 25 years old. Now at 22, I joined the Utah Highway Patrol and I worked as a state trooper. I figured that's where I was going to be at. I was going to make my career in it. And three years into working as a highway patrolman, I already started thinking about how can I create a little bit more money? Because we started a family. And by that time, at 25, I, my, my first kid was already two years old, and we were having our second one coming on the way. So we just immediately stepped into this family deal, and, and, uh, and I started thinking about how am I going to create an income to support my family. It got turned into business. And by 25 years old, I had my first business going, and I became a, a student of entrepreneurship. And there's a great value of that. There's this concept and idea that rather than working for somebody else and help building their dream, Work for yourself and build your own dream. What a great concept and idea. And right now, the young movement, the young entrepreneurs is alive and it's well. Millennials are that age demographic between 18 to 34 years old. So if any of you fall in that group, you're considered a millennial. Statistics are for millennials that over 50% of them want to start their own business. And the reason for that movement of young people wanting to own their own business and to create their own lifestyle and to make their own dreams is they've watched mom and dad and they're seeing grandma and grandpa not working out quite so well for them. So they're open to new ideas. They're open to new ways to create an income. And I believe that they're going to be the trendsetters for the power of entrepreneurship. So I'm super excited. The other thing that we're seeing a big movement on is 42 million, 42 million millennials right now are close to default on the student loan debt, which is $1.3 trillion. It's a major, major problem in America today, and we're excited that young people are taking this action of owning their own business. So just a quick success tip. Been a business owner since the age of 25. At 33 years old, I created leverage, and we're going to learn about that tonight, and created my first million-dollar asset. Now at 39 years old, we live a completely different lifestyle. My family, we got five kids. We have a completely different lifestyle today, and that's what we're going to share with you as a concept. I want you to think about, is this relative to you? Can you see yourself wanting and participating in what we're about to share with you tonight? So with that, without further ado, I'm excited to turn over our presenter tonight. He's 22 years old, and he's already got the right mindset. So tonight, you're going to hear some great information from him. At 22 years old, he's going to introduce this idea of linear versus leverage. He's working right now, a regular job. And he's also building his fortune uh, part-time on the side. And that's what we're uh, going to share with you tonight. So without further ado, it's a privilege to introduce our presenter tonight, Jackson Hansen. Take it away, my friend. So like Trent said, my name is, my name is Jackson Hansen. I'm 22 years old. And um, I work for a, a, construction com uh, well, a, co a construction distribution company where we, uh, we deliver drywall mainly. And I work in the, I work in the, the stucco room, my tin stucco. And I've been there for about five months, and I've already been told how much I'm going to make. Um, they've pretty much capped me. They said I can only work so many hours, and it's been, it's been kind of a crazy deal. I love my job. It's been good, but I see the potential behind what we have here. So I guess what, like, now we just kind of can hop into what we're going to talk about, and, and, and I can show you how this makes sense to me and how this has made sense to a lot of people like Trent. So we'll look at this. And this is a lifespan. This is someone's lifespan. And when we hit, when we hit about 20 years old, we, we'd start taking life a lot more serious, whether we're getting into college or we're getting a, we're starting our career, whatever it is that we're doing. We, we started about 20 years old and we work, we work, we work until we're about 65 years old. And then we're told after 65, 65 to 70, we can retire and we can live, we can go out and just have a wonderful life. But the thing is, is I think a wonderful life would be, would be in here. That's a long time to just be working. So what if, big what if statement, what if there was a way to 
starting at 20, when we're taking things serious, we could, or whatever the age may be, but at 20, what if there's a way for five to 10 years, we can work, work for five to 10 years, and then live in that big span that everybody thinks they're gonna, that they're gonna have. You know, this is, this is the dream. This is what most people are looking forward to. They're looking forward to retiring at 65 and having this wonderful retirement. But if you could work for five to 10 years real hard and create yourself an asset so you can, you can retire and you can live for that 40 to 50 years instead. So I kind of want to show you, um, Robert Kiyosaki created the cash flow quadrant and he showed us the four ways that we can generate money. In the cash flow quadrant, we have being an employee, being self-employed, whoa, that's a bad B, owning a big business, or being an investor. We all know what being an employee, what being an employee is like. Uh, like I had said before in my own story, I was capped. I was told who I was, what I was gonna do for who I was working for, and at the same time, at any time, they could say, hey, you know what? You're not doing a good job. We're going to hire someone else. Or you can be self-employed. But the thing about both of the, being self-employed, you're, you know, you're making more money, but you're still doing the same thing, which is trading time for dollars. And this side is called linear. So all we're doing on this side of the quadrant is putting in our time and getting our paycheck. Whether you're an employee or you're being self-employed, time for dollars, time for dollars, time for dollars. I just want to show you this real quick, some numbers. The average person works 40 to 50 hours a week. And they do it for 40 to 50 years of their life. That's a lot of work. And just to take those 40 to 50 hours in a week and put it into a year, perspective of a year, that's 2,000 hours that you will work in a year. That's a lot of time that could be spent in other places. So now we'll take those 2,000 hours and put it into a 40 to 50 year career. You are working over 90,000 hours in a career or more. That's 40 hours a week for 40 years, 90,000. It is unreal what people will do. They'll follow that, that plan, that dream, thinking it's going to work. Well, tell me this. Do you, you see more and more white pe white haired people working at, at Walmart, McDonald's? They're doing the jobs that you didn't think they're going to be doing because they, they didn't even think they're going to be doing because they thought they were going to be retired. The thing about this, the thing about the dream, the thing about being an employee or self-employed on the linear side, You have a 95% chance that that will never happen. You have a 95% chance that you will work until the day you die. That's pretty crazy to think about. That kind of stinks to think about. That putting in this much time in a lifetime, it's going to be more. You have a 95% chance of working till you die. And the crazy thing is, 95% of people are on the linear side. Let's talk about the leverage side real quick. So this side, the leverage side, there's big business and investors. Big business, and you're not considered a big business unless you have 500 or more employees. And then an investor is just someone who has money, they put it somewhere, it accrues interest, and they make even more money. Kind of a cool deal, but I don't have money to do that. So Robert Kiyosaki, one of the greatest economists who created this cash flow quadrant said that the only, one of the best ways, and kind of one of the only ways for the masses, us, most people, to get from this side to this side is through network marketing, through creating leverage through a network distribution system. So I kind of want to show you real quick how we can create an asset for ourselves, how we can create leverage for ourselves like what Trent was saying. So here's you, it's just a line, but it's you. You're a special line. Here's you, and then what you're gonna do, and what we're gonna help you do, is we're gonna go help you find five business partners. Not people, not anything silly, business partners. People who that timeline makes sense to. 
people who that cash flow quadrant makes sense to. People who working until you died a 95% chance makes sense to that. They don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have those people between them and the people that they are trying to find spend $200 a month. $200 a month is going to come back to you in a percentage and it's going to be about a $20 residual income, $20 a month residual income. I don't know about you. That's not too exciting. $20. I'm not going to jump out of my seat. Oh, it's my $20. It's, it's $20, but that's a residual income. I doubt most of you have a residual income. I didn't have a residual income before I heard about this. It's really cool that you have one now. So now what we're going to do is we've learned how to find five people. So what can we do? We can turn around and teach those five people how we did it. They're going to learn and they're, we're going to help them go find five people. So that five turns into 25, same numbers. Now it turns into a $250 a month residual income. That's exciting for me. That will cover most of my gas and a portion. Well, it'll cover all of my gas for the month, $270 and a portion of my insurance. If that is a residual income, that's going to do that for the rest of my life. If my gas is covered for the rest of my life, I'm going to be on a lot more road trips. Cause I mean, that's a, that's kind of a cool deal. So let's do it again. We're all about duplication, 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 helping, helping, helping. So it takes us to 125, which takes us to 2250 a month. But add the other two on top of it. Now we're looking at $2,500 a month in residual income. I'm going to admit this. I'm, I'm sad to admit it, but that would replace by a little, a little bit. That would replace the income that I have now at my job where I've been capped. But the cool thing is, is that's not a cap. We can do it again. Duplication, duplication, duplication. 2200 bucks, 2500 bucks a month is awesome. That can keep people's spouses home. That can do a lot of great things for a lot of people. Let's do it one more time. So 625 is the next number. It's a big number, but it's doable because it's duplication, teaching and learning, teaching and learning, finding those business partners. We're now looking at over $9,000 a month residual income. I went back to the fact that most of you aren't even making $20 of residual income at the job you're at now. If we can turn around and take that and put it in, in the next five to 10 years, five to 10 years, make $9,000 a month. That is unbelievable. Crazy thing is If you are making over $100,000 a year, you are in the top 10% of money earners in America. How cool is that? That in five to 10 years, we could get you to, one of the, to be part of that top 10% of money earners in America. Let me tell you this. I am a lot more afraid of working until I die than I am at finding five business partners, learning something along the way, and teaching them to do the same thing, teaching them to do the same thing, to do the same thing. I am a lot more afraid of this 95% chance of failure than I am of talking to people. So that's why I'm here. I'm here helping people see how they can create leverage for themselves, like what Trent's doing and like what Clint's doing and different people are doing, because if I can in five to 10 years do this, it's worth my time. So yeah, so th thanks, for, thanks for hearing my little, my little spiel and, and hearing how, how I think and what I, have found works for me and is going to help me become part of the top 10% of money earners in America and having a purpose behind it with this young group of millennials. It's been, it's been a fun group to be a part of and I'm excited to, to continue to do things with them. So thanks Trent. Awesome Jackson. Great presentation. Thanks you for educating us and sharing some great information with us. I love that concept that we can work together as a team. And there's a saying on that left side, Jackson, as you were talking about linear income on the left side, it's a 100% you. And on the right side on leverage, as we start to assemble a team, we have a stay and it's 1% of 100 people's effort. And that's the reason why it becomes residual and it becomes so powerful. So thank you, Jackson, for sharing that concept. I love the concept and I'm excited for young people as well. And I just want to get a quick um, uh, chance for a couple of people just to share their story as to why they said yes to the opportunity. I want to bounce it all the way out to the East Coast to uh, a good friend of mine, Brian Quinlan. Brian Quinlan's 28 years old and... Um, 
he's right now just starting a new family. He's got some things that are going on that's different in his life that he's never experienced before. So Brian, I want you to jump on here. Share us your story. Why would you choose leveraged income versus uh, linear income? All right. You did a good job, Jackson. It was, it did, you did good. I missed it earlier, but it was good to see at that time. Uh, but yeah, like Trent said, I'm 28 years old. Uh, I'm, I got a little girl on the way. She should be here anytime uh, from the looks of things. And, uh, you know, I, I actually took a journey to, to find that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. I went to college for a few years. Wasn't me. Um, started, I got out of college. I groomed dogs for three years. I was a freaking dog groomer for three years. And uh, from there, I met someone who ran a car lot. I, and I uh, was offered a job into sales. Um, so I sold cars for a little bit and then moved on to be a sales manager. And, you know, it was all just trading time for money, even though I eventually moved on to, you know, making a commission and making decent money for this area. It was still going out and, um, you know, trading my time for money. And then I thought it'd be a good idea to, to spend some money on a really nice lawnmower and I'd go out and cut some grass and make some extra money that way. And, and, uh, and then I even ventured on to working on a commercial greenhouse. So I've, I've done all kinds of crazy stuff um, that's led me to realizing that, you know, building someone else's dream isn't, isn't my dream. I'm, you know, I'm chasing, um, I've, I've got big dreams that, that people laugh at me over, you know, things that people think are crazy, but in my eyes, <clears throat> I've already accomplished them. So um, seeing, seeing something that I could, I could come into at such a low um, low cost, you know, a low investment with such a high return in such a short amount of time. If I wanted to really dive in and put in the work, was really attractive. And uh, you know, the whole the whole idea behind leveraged income is is a dream come true. So, you know, that's automatically seen a way that I was going to be be able to be a dad. You know, be able to take part in raising my daughter and and being part of the family. So. Um, you know, we look forward to where this is taking us um, as a family. So, you know, I'm, I am 28, but I still feel young. Uh, Trent was making jokes about me being old earlier today, but uh, I feel like I'm on good track to uh, to lay a solid foundation for my family and, and still leave plenty of years left to enjoy my life. So I'm excited. Awesome, Brian. Thank you for sharing your story. Excited for you and your new addition that's coming online. I know mom has stopped working and uh, the power of leverage of being able to support the family as, as you guys go into the next stages. So congratulations to you and uh, love your story. We're going to now bounce all the way back out to the West Coast uh, into back into Utah uh, into Clinton. And we have a young high school graduate just recently uh, got out of high school and uh, Shelby Nye is 18 years old, young entrepreneur. She's got the right mindset. Listen to her story. Uh, Shelby, take it away. Introduce yourself and share your story. All right. My name is Shelby. Um, like you said, I'm 18. I graduated two months ago in June, and I got into this in May when I, uh, I was 17. Sorry. And um, my dad came to me knowing that my whole life I wanted to be able to travel and I wanted to be able to help people. I wanted to actually end up to be a doctor. I looked in how much it would cost to go to med school and go through all the training and my residency and everything. It was looking at about $200,000 in student loans, which I'm sure most of you know it. if you get a student loan, you have to pay it back. It's not forgivable. You can't bankrupt it. If you die, it gets passed on to your family and $200,000 is a lot of money. So it kind of scared me a little bit to go into that college path, but my dad came to me um, and he said, I have this opportunity and the timing is just perfect and I want you to come look at it. And I said, well, what is it? And he said, well, your mom and I got involved in this network marketing business. And I looked at him and I said, you are crazy. You're the craziest person I've met. Who are you? Because you have been the most skeptical person my whole life. Like I wanted to do a network marketing business in the seventh grade. And he told me no. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. This is crazy. And I work two jobs as a CNA right now on top of Life Advantage. And I worked the graveyard shift, and um, it was right as I was transitioning to graveyard, so I was having a really hard time staying awake, and I was drinking about three monsters every night, and my dad gave me the Axio, and he said, just try this tonight, see how it works, and I was like, okay, fine, so I tried it, and it worked really well for me, um, and then I went back to him, and I said, okay, I want to know more about this, what is this, because it's, it's working, personal testimony is huge, 
So I went to a meeting with Clinton, and after that, I was sold, um, especially after Elite Academy. That was probably the greatest thing that I ever went to. But um, I'm excited for this opportunity because it's giving me the opportunity to travel. I can travel the world. I can go see whatever I want. But while I'm traveling the world, I can change people's lives. I can change the way that they pay for things. I can change um, their financial status, their marriage. I can change so much about them and I can be traveling and seeing all the things I want to at the same time. So I said yes to this opportunity and I'm so excited for the day that I am finally able to fire my boss. Well, you're on the right track and you have the right mindset. Thank you, Shelby, for joining us tonight and sharing us your story. You know, I've, I've heard it said that uh, find somebody who has what you want and do what they do. And, uh, and so that's what I did when I was starting out my first business. And you become the average of the five people you spend most of your time with. Um, I've heard it said over and over and over again, choose your friends wisely because they, wear, wear, they will wear off on you. Make sure you're choosing, choosing uplifted people, people that are going to take you somewhere and help you serve a good cause and a good purpose. And I'm excited about what we're going on with this young entrepreneurs. There's a group of young people that all have decided they want something different. They're taking control of their own life and uh, they're pursuing business, and I, 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 uh, I'm excited for what they're doing. And just to help close us off, Jackson made a comment in his presentation where he talked about he's excited about building a business that pays him every single month and participating in the top 10% of income earned. Um, and that's $100,000 a year. Well, we have a very rare opportunity to have one of my business partners that have joined us on this uh, Zoom, Young Entrepreneur Zoom tonight, who, uh, who's done just that. At 26 years old, he was working for somebody else and got laid off. I'll let him share his story. But very quickly, in a matter of that five-year window that you saw Jackson talking about, he learned some rules. And through this process of, of being introduced to this concept that you guys got introduced tonight, he is part of the top 2% earners in America of making about a half a million dollars a year of, of income. And so he's done very well for himself. At 26 years old, he tried and challenged and did something different, and now at 32 years old, 33 years old, he's got some different things lined up for him in his life. So it's a privilege to bring on my business partner, Clint Boyles. Clint, are you on? Can you hear me? All right. You're broken up a little bit, brother, but I think we've got you. Right now we have, so we'll take you. Go ahead. Well, I'm, I appreciate the opportunity and chance to talk a little bit on here and always to uh, be a part of uh, Trent and, and his life and his business. Guys, um, like Trent said, I was 26 years old when I got introduced to network marketing. I was living in the basement of somebody else's home, parking my vehicle at somebody else's house, <clears throat> and someone made a comment to me, and I went and checked out, um, and, and I had no clue what network marketing was, and I fell in love with it because there's very, if you literally look at it, there is no risk. Over the next two to five years, what kind of chance or opportunity do you have to completely change your financial future and your time freedom with just $1,200 with, with building a business. Um, it's absolutely amazing the opportunity that we have to be in front of this company at this time to go out and, and build with Life Vantage. Um, it took me about 18 months. And, and in order to win here, in order to succeed, you have to help other people. You have to find those who will say yes and you have to take control of your life and your business, and you have to go do it. But there is no other opportunity that I've ever found in the world that with very little risk, you can go out and get this big of a gain. You can work with a group of individuals and mentors that can mentor you through the whole process. Because over the next 40 years, you can go do the deal, and you can go to work for somebody else, and then have a 95% 95 95 chance of not retiring. Or you can compress that time, and in two to five years, create complete financial freedom. I love the opportunity at 33 years old. I get to raise my kids with my wife. I get to wake up every single day and choose to do what I want to do. And I didn't get out. I didn't get there by myself. I got there by, by finding people like Trent and working together hand in hand as, as individuals and going out and finding people like Shelby, like the different people that talked on here tonight. And I'm excited to work with you guys. So any of you guys that decide to take this journey, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in working with you. I'm interested in finding out what part you want of this. And if you want to go big in the next five years and completely change your life, let us help you. Let us help you get to that level. Let us help teach and mentor you through that process. And uh, we'll help you because if it is to be, it's going to be up to you.
it's going to be up to you. So um, I appreciate your guys' time. Thanks for allowing me to be on here. It's always a pleasure, and it's an honor. Thanks, Trent. You're burning the candle on both ends, Clinks. I know you believe in this thing. I sure appreciate your support, and uh, we love and appreciate your, your comments and thoughts. So thanks for sharing that with us. So Clint's just giving you guys the challenge. Here's the close of our discussion here today or tonight, and that is he's, he wants to know who you are. He wants to know who really wants this. We are committed to supporting and helping people create freedom for themselves. And so the challenge I give to you is get back to the person who invited you to join us on this Zoom. We want to have a conversation with you. There is a 14-minute video that will explain the nuts and bolts and all the details of what we have to offer from a product to a company to how we create that income that, uh, that Jackson was talking about. 14 minutes will explain all the details behind that, and we want to pick up a conversation with you and help answer those questions and put a game plan together uh, to, to helping you in a, uh, attain that freedom as well. So get back to that person and introduce you to this. And a closing thought is the quickest path to mediocrity is being realistic. Being realistic is that 40 to 50 plan. Being realistic is doing what everybody else is doing. This is outside the box. This is challenging the status quo, and there's a lot of freedom and independence that comes from it. So thanks for joining us tonight, and I look forward to having that conversation with you guys. Thanks for, uh, for being on. And thanks, Jackson. Great presentation. Shelby and Brian, as always, uh, sure appreciate your guys' stories as well. Thanks again.